Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see Associate Cloud Engineer Sample Questions Google Cloud Platform Certification Exam Preparation 2021. Here we are going to see the GCP Certification Exam Model Questions with Answers. Let's start now. Okay, so number one question. First question we are going to see. Which service is used for load balancing a set of GCE instances deployed in multiple regions? First one is Cloud DNS. So Cloud DNS, it is a simple cost effective alternative to hosting your own DNS servers on premises or using other third party DNS services. Next one is Virtual Network. It is a global, scalable and flexible. It provides networking for Compute Engine VM. And option C, it is a cloud VPN. It is securely connects your peer network to your virtual private cloud network through an IPsec VPN connection. Last one, HTTP load balancer. So HTTP load balancer, it is a global proxy based layer 7 load balancer that enables us to run and scale your services worldwide behind a single external IP address. So the answer would be HTTP load balancer. So next question we are going to move. You have an instance group that you want to load balance. You want the load balancer to terminate the client SSL session. The instance group is used to serve a public web application over HTTPS. You want to follow Google recommended practices. What should you do? Option A, configure a HTTPS load balancer. Option B, configure an internal TCP load balancer. Option C, configure an external SSL proxy load balancer. And option D, configure an external TCP proxy load balancer, which could be the answer. So first one, HTTP load balancing. So HTTP load balancer, it's a global proxy based layer seven load balancer that enables running and scaling the services worldwide behind a single external IP address and it distributes it is sorry it distributes HTTP and HTTPS traffic to backends hosted on Compute Engine and GKE. So next one is the internal TCP load balancing. It is a managed internal pass through regional layer 4 load balancer that enables running and scaling services behind an internal IP address. The next one is a S external SSL proxy load balancer. So it is an it reserves proxy layer 4 and external load balancer that distributes SSL traffic coming from the internet to VM instances in the VPC network. Then finally configure an external TCP proxy load balancer. So that is it is a reverse proxy external layer 4 load balancer that distributes TCP traffic coming from the internet to VM instances in the VPC network. So the answer is option option A configure a HTTPS load balancer. So next question we are moving. Your testing team has asked you to set up an external TCP load balancer with SSL offload. Which load balancer should you use? Option A SSL proxy. Option B HTTP load balancer. Option C TCP proxy. Option D HTTPS load balancer. So which could be the answer? So SSL proxy already I told it is a reverse proxy layer 4 and external load balancer that distributes SSL traffic coming from the internet to VM instances in the VPC network. With SSL traffic supports SSL offload where user SSL TLS connections are terminated at the load balancing layer and then proxy to the closest available backend instances by using either SSL recommender or TCP. So the answer it is SSL proxy. The next question your testing team has asked you to set up a load balancer with SSL termination. The website would be using HTTPS protocol which load balancer should you use option A SSL proxy option B HTTP load balancer option C TCP proxy option D HTTPS load balancer. So we have already know about uh, the SSL proxy so it could not be the answer HTTP load balancer it is a layer 7 load balancing so it will not be the answer 
TCP proxy. So TCP proxy, it's a reverse proxy. It's a layer four load balancer. So it will not be the answer. So they have they we have given I mean they have given the keyword HTTPS protocol. So option D HTTP yes load balancer. It's a correct answer. Next we are moving to the final question. You have an application that receives SSL encrypted TCP traffic on port 443. Clients for this application are located all over the world. You want to minimize latency for the clients. Which load balancing option should you use? Option A HTTPS load balancer. Option B network load balancer. Option C SSL proxy load balancer. Option D internal TCP or UDP load balancer. Add a firewall rule allowing ingress traffic from 0.0.0.0/0 on the target instances. So, which could be the answer? Option A: HTTPS load balancer. So, HTTPS load balancer it distributes HTTP and HTTPS traffic to the backend hosted on Compute Engine and GKE. So, next one is a network load balancer. So, network load balancer it is a managed external pass through regional layer 4 load balancer that distributes TCP or UDP traffic originating from the internet to among virtual machines instances in the same region and SSL proxy so SSL proxy as I, I have already told SSL proxy it is a reverse proxy layer 4 and external load balancer that distributes SSL traffic coming from the internet to VM instances in the VPC network with SSL traffic supports SSL offload where user SSL or TLS connections are terminated at the load balancing layer and then proxy to the closest available backend instances by using either SSL recommended or TCP. So next one is internal or TCP or UDP load balancer. So internal TCP load balancer. I internal or TCP or UDP load balancer it is a managed internal pass through regional layer 4 load balancer that enables running and scaling services behind an internal IP address it distributes traffic among VM instances in the same region in a VPC network by using an internal IP address it provides a high performance pass through layer 4 load balancer for TCP or UDP traffic so for fifth question SSL proxy load balancer it is the correct option correct answer for this so we have done with the questions today so here I have uh, given this link for this load balancer you can see this flow chart it will be very very useful if we learn this flow chart and definitely you can answer the questions from load balancing if the traffic is HTTPS traffic, then the load balancer is HTTPS load balancer. And uh, if the tra traffic is TCP traffic, then it will ask, I mean, we need to check this SSL offload. Yes means SSL proxy. If it is no means, it will go to the TCP proxy. And uh, here, if you are seeing UDP traffic, it goes to external load, network load balancer. So this is the internal load balancing. So internal, there are two types of load, internal load balancing, internal TCP, UDP load balancer and internal HTTPS load balancing. So today we have done the uh, questions with answers friends. Thanks a lot friends. Have a great day. Bye bye.